Greetings, and welcome to the Dicey Cantina. We are but a humble watering hole in the slums of the planet Drunkenwell. The smugglers and swoopers you pass through here are told amazing stories of resistance and rebellion against the harsh rule of the Galactic Empire, and tales, of course, of the heroes that would build a movement on hope. The Dicey Cantina podcast brings you adventures of intrigue played out as an actual play Star Wars RPG from Fantasy Flight Games. On Mondays, we tell character-driven stories through the lens of our small but colorful spot in the galaxy. Skaroo holds aloft a data pad. Lizzie, come out now or I'll burn you out. Skaroo's message burns loudly in the night sky. Imperial rule has come to Druckenwell. Can't believe I couldn't save them. I failed them. Well, if everyone thinks you're dead, might have suggested the Scots. No, man, it's a good plan. This is a work. And if, <laughs> and if you're Johnny on the spot with that frag grenade, if I get in trouble upstairs. Oh, you mean I have to go out and get them first? And he just sort of like pushes the tray over and then walks away. Is that, is that our distraction? As Veer walks past Cinder on the way to the kitchen, Cinder is going to toss him her remote. Oh, yeah, that's very like heist movie. One minute we're talking about bladders, the next minute the heist is on. The Empire is occupying our planet, but Veer and I and a few choice others have decided not to accept the Imperial rule around here. Tetsis drags himself up John Jonah. You should have taken the less physical path. And then he headbutts him. Now, revenge never helped anybody. I want my friends back. If we can get it back, Lizzie. That they haven't taken anything that we can't take back. Guys, we got we got a whole elevator coming up with angry Imperials, and I don't know if Tets is even alive. What are we about to do? Tets, are you okay? You can find us on your favorite podcatcher or uncover more at DiceyCantina.com. Slide up for a drink. We'll see you in there.